why was the slave transportation process from Africa so brutal when the slavers wanted to sell healthy slaves to make profit in the end? Okay, so once again, we are discussing the transatlantic slave trade. Once again, let's go to the map. Okay, so we had the Europeans had this practice of, of capturing slaves in West Africa, transporting them across the Atlantic and selling them in places like Brazil, in Latin America, in the United States, and so on. Now, what was this process like? So most of the slaves came from Western Africa. Uh, today in the US, uh, one of the biggest forms of music is the blues. The blues. What is the roots of the blues? The roots of the blues, blues music, is the music of Mali, Western Africa mu music, Western African music. So it was people mainly from the Western African region that were taken as slaves across the Atlantic. So what was the process like? Let's understand what the process was like. So there would be raiding parties sent into the interior of West Africa and uh, helpless people would be captured, men, women, children. They would be chained up and forced to march to the various trading ports in West Africa. They would be chained and kept there. They would be kept there in, in concentration camp-like situations until the next ship would come in. Then they would be crammed into those ships in abysmal conditions. Understand this, my dear friends. These slaves, African slaves, were not regarded as human beings by the Europeans. They were regarded as goods. They were regarded as cargo. They were given the same treatment as livestock animals. So it has some value, but it's not human. And it's, its life doesn't matter. That's how they would treat these people. They would treat them as non-human. So these slaves would be chained and they would be crammed into the holds of ships below deck. They would be crammed together. Now let me give you a rather unfortunate way of understanding this or visualizing this. Okay, Because the Europeans regarded the Africans as the same as animals, let me give you an appropriate comparison. Okay, So uh, if you to, to understand the kind of conditions these African, these, these unfortunate African slaves were, were transported in. So if you see a pig farm in China, then let's see images. So if you see this, you see these pigs, they actually are, li are, are living in decent conditions. This is not bad. This is kind of bad. They're crammed together. This is decent. This is bad. The African slaves who were transported were transported in conditions worse than what you are seeing on the screen right now. This is good compared to what the African slaves had to suffer. They had to suffer conditions similar to these. I, I apologize for showing the way animals are treated to make a comparison, but that is the way the Europeans treated the Africans. That's exactly how the Europeans treated the Africans. So they would be crammed into the holds of ships below the decks. There would be like several hundred of them crammed into a small ship. There would be no place to turn. They would be in chains. There would be no facilities as such to... to you know, take care of physical necessities. They would be given very little water. They would be given essentially rotten food, typically rice or something like that. And uh, and the conditions would be really hot. There would not be proper ventilation because you're traveling near the equator, so it would be hot in the Atlantic. Very poor ventilation. When there was a storm, they would get no water at all. And typically the mortality rate was would be, I don't know, between 10% to 50% during a voyage. So the qu the question is why was this done in in this manner? Why was why were so many people crammed into ships? So many like animals, because the traders, slave traders, had this ugly, perverse, horrible logic. They were resigned to the fact that 10, 20 percent of their cargo will die, will perish. So if I'm transporting 108 and 20 will die. Why not transport 120? If I'm transporting 300, 
and 60 will die. Why not transport 360, cram 60 more in there? That way, even if 60 die, the rest will, the rest will reach. Mm -hmm. So it was not about quality, it was about quantity. As much as possible, as many slaves as possible, let's cram them into the into the hold of the ship. And we, how many, however many of them survive, we will sell them and make a profit. That was the deal. The slavers never wanted to sell healthy slaves. They wanted to sl sell live slaves. It was quantity, not quality. It was quantity, not quality, that they were after. And that's why the, the process was so incredibly inhuman and brutal. And today they, they lecture us about human rights and democracy and whatnot. Yeah, the same people.